Hello there, my name is Daniel Netra. Uh, welcome to another video. Uh, and this is Box Turtle Collection Update number 10. Um, and in this one, I think it's fair to say, uh, as David Dickinson would say, um, quite a few Bobby Dazzlers. Um, I have to be completely honest, I'm a bit of a David Dickinson fan. I do find him quite funny. Um, and on my channel, there's a couple of videos where um, I did a few edits, uh, sort of, I suppose, taking the mickey a bit. Um, but please watch them if you haven't done. Um, I'm sure you'll like them, quite a few other people have. Um, they've been quite popular. Um, so I've got a few uh, Bobby Dazzles in this video. Um, quite a few of them that I got were actually quite hard to get, um, either in the boxes or just for a good price. Um, I found, found that um, Ertles have become very expensive, uh, particularly in the Thomas range. I think it's mainly to do with the fact, obviously, the Thomas Tank Engine, you know, is such a big brand now, um, known worldwide. Um, and I'll be completely honest, I'm sort of a fan of the sort of the old older Thomas era where it was the models and the T V series. Um and I've obviously got lots of the old magazines. Um, I used to get them on subscription, so I used to get them delivered to my house. Um, and I prefer that sort of Thomas really to the newer CGI Thomas. Um which I'll probably be talking about next time I do more of an update when I talk about um what the products I got. Um so, so I've got quite a few good uh, what I call good, good ones here. Um please enjoy. So here you can see I've got seven more um, Ertl characters uh, in boxes. Um, so uh, 199 Diesel came from the Wembley Flea Market where I got a few of my trains from. Um, you've probably seen other videos. Um, Annie and Clarabel George uh, and the Fire Engine came off eBay. Bluebell and the old coaches came from Tootley Thomas. And uh, a friend got me towed. Um, and you've probably seen in my other videos I have towed already um, in the box. So I got it at the Old Barton Steam Rally um, a few years ago. Um, so I've now actually got two Toads, but uh, never mind. Um, I never mentioned Toad uh, properly before, so I'll talk about it this time. Um, so here, first of all, um, we've got Bluebell. Uh, Bluebell was only seen uh, in the Railway series and works on um, a Stepney line. Um, it's got a twin called Primrose. Um, there's a nice description card. Um, and Bluebell um, is basically a Thomas, his Ertl model, but repainted. Um, and there was actually a prototype of this model. Um, and the prototype actually looks a lot better uh, than what this one does, um, I think. Um, but this is still a very nice model, and this one I've uh, certainly found really hard to get. Um, so to get it, so to be able to suddenly get it. Um, you know, it's quite remarkable, um, you know, and I'm obviously really grateful to have it. Um, it's in a really nice box. Um, it's collector card number 63. And uh, it was made in 1999. Just about to see there. Um, so that's Bluebell. Uh, so now we move on to 199 Diesel. Um, again, uh, Diesel199, um, he was only in the Railway series, um, in the book Enterprising Engines. Um, he was also, though, uh, in a magazine story, um, but he's not been in the television series yet. Um, and again, uh, when collecting my Ertles, uh, this one I found really hard to get in the box. Um, so, I was again, I was quite lucky, really, um, to get this one. And the box, I'm sure you'll agree, uh, is in fairly good condition. Um, it's clicked to card number 38, and it was made in 1995, you can see just about there. Um, he was also known as Spam Can um, after he broke down, and Henry had to rescue him. Uh, Spam Can is also what the type of engines um, that Neville was based on um, were called. Um, so I'm sure you'll agree, it's a very nice model again. Um, and it's basically um, Diesel two t D261 and the uh, Diesel 10 uh, repainted. I'm sure you'll agree. So like class 40 uh, model. Um, next, move on to some coaches. Um, and these are the old coaches. 
Um, a lot of people say the old coaches look at the spit image of Emily's coaches. Um, I can sort of agree, but they're not Emily's coaches. Uh, Emily's coaches had six wheels, he's only had four. Um, these coaches were only in Series 1. Um, they never appeared again. Um, I don't know why, and I think it's a bit of a shame. I thought they were really nice uh, models in the TV series. Um, also, uh, something that's unusual, I'm sure you'll notice, is that both coaches are brake coaches. Um, obviously, you normally get a composite coach and then a brake coach, but no, so they've got two brake coaches for some reason. Um, so I, I, I don't understand why, so please don't ask. Um, it's collector card number 30. Uh, again, you get a nice description card. Um, and basically it says they're similar to Annie and Clarabel. Um I've got Annie and Clarabel just there as you can see and I'm sure you can see uh, the comparison just from a distance um, and again these are quite nice I think um, so that's the old coaches and uh, now we move on to Annie and Clarabel. Uh, Thomas coaches um, again a uh, nice original packaging um, something I've noticed as well is that um, there's a man there, um, oh no, just there actually, uh, smoking a pipe. Um, and in the railway series, um, people are often seen smoking pipes and things like that. Um, but obviously you wouldn't see anyone smoking in children's books nowadays or on children's TV because obviously they're trying to ban smoking. I mean, obviously I, I don't smoke myself, so I think smoke, you know. Um, but I suppose but in some ways it does add realism because, I mean, you know, you're never going to hide people from seeing people smoking. Um, and like I said, you wouldn't get that on a children's toy now. Um, and I'm surprised you even allowed it back then, but laws have changed quite a bit. Um, and I think Ursula by far is still the best range. You know, I've looked at um, a number of toys um, in the Thomas range now, and just toys in general, and I just don't think they have as much charm as these sort of uh, old toys, really. And um, as you can see here, I've got two of the minis, which are the new uh, Thomas Tank Engine products that they brought out. Um, I'll be completely honest, I'm not a huge fan of the minis, and the only reason I have these two is because I won them on a competition on Twitter, uh, where someone was giving them away, a um, very popular YouTube user and person on Twitter. Um, like I said, I don't think these have as much charm about them as the um, old Ertl ones, I don't think a lot of uh, more modern toys have as much detail put into them, they're all uh, done on the cheap uh, nowadays. You know, just standing here and looking at all these... Um, makes me feel quite old really. I remember walking into shops and you could see all of these uh, brand new. Um, saying that though, I never remember seeing George in that style of packaging but I'll move on to that in a minute. Um, so next we've got Toad the brake van. Um, again Toad's a really nice model. Um, he is however, I think it's fair to say, really big. Um, and Ertl didn't always get the scale right, as I said when I was talking about Jack and Alfie. Uh, well, Jack, well, Alfie in particular in the Ertl video I did a few months ago. Um, but and so this was made in two thousand and four, which is the year the range was discontinued. Again, quite a nice description card, and I like this style of packaging as well. And uh, you know, Ertl did a number of range, number of different types of packaging, as you've probably seen in all my other videos. Um, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, I think they're all really good. Um, but there's certain characters like Annie and Clarabel and that, that I'd rather have in this old style packaging, and also George. Uh, going back onto Toad though, uh, yeah, I think he's a really nice model. He has got a red buffer beam though, which is a bit odd. But his take along model does that as well. Uh, Toad has a black buffer beam. Um, and he's also, and this looks pretty much what he looked like in the TV series in the model era. He's also now in the CGI series, as you know. Uh, making more regular parts, um, and again, it's really good. Uh, so the next one we move on to uh, is George. Like I said, I'd never seen George in this style of packaging before. And what I really like about this particular box is that George, as you can see just there, it's exactly what he looked like in the Railway series. Um, and he was only in two books in the Railway series. Uh, George is one of my favourite characters. Um, and this model of George, his face looks very similar to what it looks like uh, in the TV series. And however, um, in the TV series, he had his he had his name painted on the green part of his boiler. Um, whereas on here, it's on the smoke box. It's painted on the smoke box. Um, the wooden model gets that correct. Um, then say, but I think this is still a really nice model of George. Um, 
and you probably saw one of my other videos that I mentioned that there was a competition um, in a magazine to win a George and I won that one and that came in the blue card um, style of box like some of my other engines come in and say and also when looking on eBay you can get George in this style of card but the George um, looks like more like what he did in, in the TV series George has also um, appeared many times in the magazines despite the fact that he's not been in the television series that often um, he also, um, I was very surprised, made a, a fairly big part in calling all engines. So he didn't actually speak, but you know, they obviously the narrator mentioned his name and he helped uh, fix the runway. Um, the last one to move on to is the Sodor Fire Engine. Um, Sodor Fire Engine is not really seen in the show now because obviously there's Bell and Flynn. Um, however, this was first seen in Series 5, um, helping James out when his um, trucks caught fire that were carrying fuel. Um, and then they put out the fire at the workman's hut. Um, there's a bit of a mark there, unfortunately, where someone's taken off a price tag. Um, that wasn't me, by the way. <laughs> um, but this was a really hard one to get. So, um, you know, it was nice to get it. Um, and if I see another one for a good price, I'll probably get it. Um, so quite a nice description card. It tells you that it's actually based on a Dennis uh, fire engine. Um and of course there is a diesel called Dennis. Um, fortunately Dennis isn't in the Ursula range, but I think Dennis would look good in the Ursula range if they made him. Um, and it tells you all the other ones you can buy. Um, and it goes right the way up to Iron Burt, at number 70. Um, and I've got all those ones now, apart from the biplane. And I've got the biplane unboxed, but not in the box. Um, and I've got quite a few of these ones as well now. Uh, I've done quite well with my collection really, um, getting good deals and one thing and another. Uh, the Sodor Fire Engine made a number of appearances in the television series um, as a background character. Um, so in the model series it was never really forgotten and it was always nice to see it in the background. And series 5 was quite nice because it introduced quite a lot of uh, background characters um, including Butch who's now um, obviously one of the main characters. And I doubt these fire engines will appear again, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. You know, there's many characters that unfortunately aren't the show anymore, which we haven't seen for a long time, but the fire engine made a number of appearances. Um, I say these are the seven that I got. Um, I've also got a few others which I'll talk about um, another time. Um, again, when I've got a decent amount, I'll, I will talk through them again. I remember, you can see... Um, in the description below this video there's links to all the other reviews that I've made. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe and share this video if you liked it. Uh, you can also now follow me on Twitter. Uh, thank you very much for watching uh, and goodbye.